They escaped the horrors of war thousands of miles away in Ukraine. Tonight, a growing number of families with children are settling into a new way of life and learning in Metro Detroit. It is a culture shock in many ways, a different language and a different land, of course, far away from what used to be home. But one school is on a mission to provide a welcoming place for Ukrainian kids to get their education. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shaykat back with us to show us how the Manugian Charter School in Southfield is helping them write a new chapter here in America. Over the last several months, the number of Ukrainian refugee students here at this charter school has quadrupled to more than 85. And students say they're embracing a new culture, a new way of life, along with getting an education here. How did you feel being a new student? <laughs> when I first came to the school, I was really nervous. In the weeks and months since Veronica Cheruda left Ukraine to start a new life with family in Metro Detroit, she says the AGBU Manugian Charter School in Southfield has given her a sense of support that's hard to put into words. I make a, lo a lot of friends here and I like the teachers here. I like the principal here. They are really friendly here. Her story is one of triumph over adversity and she's not alone. Since our first visit here a few months back when we showed you a handful of refugee students taken in, there's been a large number of additional students enrolled. Students like Artem Karko. How do the teachers help you? Some of them give us like cars. If you don't understand something, you just uh, pick up cars and they'll help you or, or talk slowly. To accommodate growing demand, the school has hired additional staff. Teacher Talar McLeary started just a few weeks ago. At the beginning, they're very shy and they don't know what's going on. They don't always understand what you're saying. We sometimes don't understand what they are saying. And once they are more comfortable, I do see day by day that they're opening up more. They're coming out of their shell. Between the two schools, uh, we have uh, 427 students. Principal Josep Tarosian oversees the day-to-day -day work of educating students and inspiring them. But for him, there's a harsh reality. The need goes well beyond the school's available resources. Has there come a point where you've said, we might be running out of space here? Simon, we, we unfortunately ran out of space. Uh, today, we received another call, please take me, so I'm still trying to shuffle and create room. This will be the school's legacy. A legacy to give students structure and a chance to pursue their dreams free of the dangers back home. They give them a sense of um, safety. The teachers are giving their time. They're devoting a lot of their time towards these kids. They're showing compassion. The school is also open to state-of-the-art STEAM Center, short for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Here, cutting-edge tools provide another layer of support and opportunity for students to learn. As for the future, Veronica is already thinking of helping more refugee students and showing them someone cares. I will try to help new students when they will come to this school because I know that it's so nervous, they feel so nervous, they feel like it's just different. The school is now raising funds to pay for field trips to Lansing and Washington, D.C. If you'd like to help donate, you'll find a link on our website, WXYZ.com. From Southfield, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, that's great stuff. Thank you very much for that.